There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge because of all the populous trees which grow there. This is where we're from. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you stopped by. In this episode, we do our second run of this Woodland Mills HM122 portable sawmill and cut the rest of the 1x6s we'll need to complete our shiplap project in the Asser. Last time we milled, we had to run the blade dry so the belts could break in properly. This time, we're milling per usual, so lubricant needed to be added. Manufacturer recommendations for what to use for lubricant are dependent on outside temperature. It's 18 Fahrenheit here today, so we used winter grade windshield washer fluid. Recommendations are 32 Fahrenheit and below uses winter windshield washer fluid. 34 Fahrenheit and higher uses a teaspoon of liquid dish soap per tank of water. Next, we needed to manipulate the flow valve on the bottom of the lubrication tank to adjust the drip rate. Make sure the engine is off when you do this. Then, depress the throttle lever and check the drip rate. We discovered the copper drip tube wasn't aligned over the middle of the saw blade, so we needed to adjust that a bit. A 3mm Allen wrench was needed to loosen that copper portion of the drip tube. After a little bit of playing around, we got it to a drip rate of about one drip per second. Despite it being a very chilly day outside, the engine started in just two pulls. We did check gas and oil levels, we tensioned the blade, checked blade tracking, and checked the belt tension as well, though we didn't film all of that. We loaded the remaining camps onto the trailer before we drove it to the level spot for milling. We started with the biggest camp first, and it was huge and heavy. decided to try some time-lapse filming. Kinda liking it. Let us know what you think in the comments. Should we do more of this or no? Everything went really well with our second run of this sawmill. Pants milled up nicely and the boards look real good. sawmill is working great. We are very happy with it.
have something for the blooper reel with our first cant. out this first cant was longer than we thought we didn't have it placed quite far enough up on the bunks and we ran out of track so we had to back up adjust the cant position try again lesson learned as always if you have questions email us at the Pobble people all one word at gmail.com or flip flop a comment below we'd love to hear from you Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your views. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more straight to the point videos about our journey with this sawmill, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a Popple People too. We'll catch you next time. Bye.